Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a macro to email an object. So first of all, the object that I want to email to start off with is this one, a table courses. So I want to email this. So let's create a macro to do that. So if I go create macro, now, what I need is one of these actions down here. So I've got data, import, export. If I go into that one, and then you've got already preset there, email, database, objects. So if I double click on that, it gives me all the information that I need there. So the object type for this first one is going to be a table. And then I need the name, which is courses. And then output format is the sort of format that you want to put it in. So... I want it attached as a PDF. And then you could put, if this is always going to the same person, you could put their email in there. Um, but if not, you don't have to. So I'll just put this as a title, course list, or course list. And then any message you want, here are the courses. Now, I've left that on yes, so that means it'll stop in Outlook and let me check whether everything's okay or not. So, if I just save this as um, MCR email one, so I'll just leave that as one. Okay, then run that. So, then there you go. So, that's where I typed, that's the title, and it's stopped ready for me to add an address if i go into this pdf it's just a, a copy it'll just be a copy of that form there you go that that table should i say close that close that down and then come back into access close the email down and then close this macro down so that's going to send all of the records that's in this table as an email but what if I want to just send one person at a time? So let's do a query. Create query design. And I need the courses table and the students table. The reason I need the students table is because that's a lookup field. And I need to see the student's name. So if I just double click student name down there. And then I can double click all of the course details. And then get rid of student ID which will be a duplicate and then under the student name I'm going to use a parameter query so open a square bracket type a prompt for yourself and then close the square bracket and then check that if I run this type somebody's name Paul White is a student that I know and then that will give you his information. So if I save this query, so I'll just call this QRY student, student details, no records. Okay. Now what I had before, if I go into this report, I did this report where I did concatenation. And if I go into design of this, what you'll get is the property sheet where it tells you what this is looking at. So this is looking at the table courses. So what I want to do is try and copy this. So if I copy this report and just paste it in. So copy and then just paste. And just call it. Records, student records. So if I go into design on this one and change where it's looking at, so design, change that to the query, student records. Now when I run view this, it comes up with that. So I type Paul White. So this is asking me for the student ID as well, so I don't want that to come up there, so it's not pulling that through. That's the way the report was done on the last session. 
so I need to fix this if I go into design because that's looking for student ID which I took out of the query so if I get rid of that so it's doing a group by student ID so I need to get rid of this group and group by name student name and then if I go to the fields I can bring student name in there let's get rid of the label move that across and just tidy this up a little bit probably make that bold go to format bold and then have a quick look see if this works so Paul White is what I want and I said it's looking at Paul White's details now obviously this this um, concatenation that we did in the last session needs to be sorted out a bit more narrative maybe and some information at the top there to make this a bit smarter but basically what we've done there is we've created a query that's given us the option to pull an individual record off and then we've created a report on that so now you can create a macro to run this that's what I want to do so I'm going to close that one down yes I do want to save it close this down Paul White just checking that yeah so it scores that I need the macro to send as an email now if we had the email for Paul White in here we could send that directly to him but let's just create the macro first macro so we're doing the email one again so this time it's a report we're doing the report is student scores output format is a PDF and then that's where we could put Paul White's email if you want to send him so I put scores or results I could call that I suppose and then message so this is going um, here are your results leaving that on yes get rid of that capital R saving that as MCR for macro student student results in fact I should put that same name as our scores just so we've got some consistency in this okay to that run that enter the name Paul White and there it is if I open that well done you have your phone scores Paul White so that's the PDF if we go back into access close this email off right. so this is just a very quick video in how you can create a macro to send an email to an individual as opposed to everybody so we had to create a query to do that then we had to create a report the query itself had a parameter in it so therefore the report did and then when we attached the report to the macro email it asked us for the person so easy to do just need to follow the process through. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.